Well, good afternoon, guys. This is Brian, the Piedmont Gardener. Glad to have you back with us. Uh, today we're going out in the garden, and uh, we're going to harvest some dent corn. Uh, the kind of corn that you make grits and cornmeal and feed chickens with. Uh, I grow a little bit every year. I've got a heirloom variety uh, that's uh, Tennessee Red Cob. And I grow enough of it every year uh, to make sure that I have seed. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to go out here and harvest our corn. We're going to gather the seed and we'll have it for next year. Now the method I'm going to show you today uh, works with field corn. Uh, it also works with sweet corn. Uh, if you've got an heirloom variety sweet corn that you want to save, you can use the same technique, same method I'm going to show you today uh, to save your seed from sweet corn. Uh, works with any kind of corn. Uh, and in fact, I save my seed uh, from Stowell Evergreen every year. And we plant that variety uh, so that we can save seed. So let's get on out in the garden. All right, so as you can see uh, here that the corn is starting to dry out. Uh, it's tasseled and made ears a long time ago. We've got a few that's still got some color to them, but for the most part, our corn's dry. When you harvest your corn for seed, uh, you gotta let it dry on the stalk. Uh, what that does, that lets the, you know that if it starts drying out, uh, that that kernel, each kernel in the corn that's developing, uh, the embryo that's gonna be your seed for next year is fully developed. Uh, and then of course, it's gonna dry out for storage. My corn is not completely dry, but it's done all it's going to do. Uh, some of them are drier than others. But I'm going to go ahead and harvest mine. And uh, we're going to take, and we're going to hang it up. We're going to let it dry. And then I'll show you how to get it off the cob. Now this is what I'm talking about. You can see that this one is not completely dry. Um, it's starting to dry up. We got us a little worm hole here. Uh, but I think it's drying up. As long as we hang it up and let it finish curing, uh, we're not going to have any problem saving seed from this ear of corn. If you look at this one back here, uh, it's completely dry. Let's go ahead and pull it up. And start peeling her back a little bit. We'll get some of it. Some of the layers off here. Got a little worm damage on the top. And what I'm gonna do, I'm on I'm not gonna pull the shuck completely off. I'm gonna use that shuck to hang it up. Uh, so your worm damage on the end, I'm just gonna pop that off. Uh, so now we've got rid of all the misshape and stuff that was on the end, uh, and we've got our ear of corn. So let's harvest the rest of these, get them in the bucket, and get them dried out. Get this green one off here. Like I said, it started to dry. Let's see what we've got. Peel him out of there. So you can see that corn, it is just as mature as that, that, uh, one that was completely brown. You can see all the little dents in here. That's why they call it dent corn. But those seeds are well on the way. Uh, those kernels are well on their way uh, to drying out and being our seed for next year. Put this other green one here. So we got the same situation. We got corn. Still got some green tassels on it. There's some green chucks on it. You can see I accidentally broke part of that one off, but there's enough there, I think, to hang it. Uh, and we've got our end piece. It's got a little worm damage. That ain't going to hurt anything. Uh, so we've got another here. 
So I'm going to go through this small patch. I'm going to harvest the rest of this corn. We're going to get it in our bucket. And uh, then we'll come back. I'll show you how to hang it up. And then we'll, uh, once it dries, we're going to take it and uh, we're going to shell it out. And I'll show you what to do next. Now guys, this is an example of a ear of corn that is completely dry. Like I told you before, when it completely dries out, uh, it sort of falls over and hangs down. And uh, I guess that it's going to open up over the winter. And that would be nature's way of the corn being able to reseed itself. Uh, there again, it's ready to go. Nice and dry. get it open. It's pretty tough when it's that dry. There we got our Tennessee red cob. Pop that top off. We don't want to use we don't want to use them misshapen seeds for our next crop. Alright. I got my cone. Let's go get it hung up. Alright guys, so I'm down in the shed. I uh, got my bucket of corn with me. Uh, let's get it hung up. We've got our corn and uh, I left the shut on the corn so that I can hang it by the shut. Now, you can use uh, you can use string, twine, uh, whatever you got. It don't make any difference. Uh, I'm going to use uh, this tie wire that makes it easy for me. Uh, I can just wrap it around and don't have to worry about tying it. And I'll leave a little little end on it. So we're gonna take and sort of twist it together. Just enough to get it to hold. It don't really matter. It don't have to be perfection. The point is just to, to get it on the wall. We're going to line that up. You can see she's a hang. Let's do another. So we got us three more. Is there any purpose in hanging on them three at a time? No. Uh, all I'm doing, I, I find that this just makes it, this is what's easy for me. It's not even necessary that you hang it. But if you're going to hang it, uh, this is what works for me. Like I said, you can use, I've used string. A lot of times. You just got to get it hung up before it'll dry. So I'm gonna go through the rest of this bucket. I'm gonna get this corn uh, tied up. We're gonna hang it on the wall and uh, then I'll show you what to do next. All right guys, so I know what you're thinking. You think we're gonna wait two or three weeks, four weeks, whatever it takes for this corn to dry and then I'm gonna show you what to do. Uh, just so happened uh, a couple months ago uh, I had some corn. Uh, this is a Stowell Evergreen. Uh, it's different than the Tennessee Red Cob, what we just harvested. Uh, this is a, actually a sweet corn. But I saved the seed for this uh, Stowell Evergreen as sweet corn, just like I did for the Tennessee Red Cob. Uh, whatever kind of corn you got, whether it's popcorn, Indian corn, sweet corn, uh, the dent corn, it can all be saved the same way. Uh, so you can see that this cob right here has been hanging up uh, and it's got a lot of spaces in between the kernels. So those are ready to go. 
So all you have to do <clears throat> is take this corn, and I'm going to use a pan because I don't want it going everywhere, uh, but just start pushing. If you start pushing, they'll just fly off of that, just like that. And when you get down to it, uh, you can spin it however you want to do it, but it's real easy uh, to take the seed off in that pan. And just get your corn out. And that's ready to store. Now as far as storage goes, uh, this corn's been dry for some time. It would store just fine. Uh, you can put it in a bag or a container, coffee can, whatever, and it'll store just fine. However, uh, in corn there is a there's a little worm uh, that can get in the kernel. He's not going to be if he gets in the kernel, it's ruined. Uh, but he's not going to be in all these kernels. But if he's in one kernel, uh, hey Smokey, if he's in one kernel, uh, then he's going to move in your seed. If you store it, if he's in your seed, he could move from kernel to kernel and uh, eat up all your seed and it wouldn't germinate next year. So what you need to do is uh, what I do is I'm going to put my seed in a bag. Uh, this is a storage bag. You could use a freezer bag, whatever. But I'm going to put my seed in this bag. I'm going to put it in the freezer and I'm going to store it in the freezer. Now, from what I understand, if you leave it in the freezer for two weeks, uh, then you destroy any of the insects that's in this corn uh, that could possibly ruin your seed. But I'm going to just store mine in the freezer till next spring. I've got room and uh, I'll just leave it in there. I'm going to date it. And uh, then next year when it's time to, to plant corn, I'll have my seed. So if there was something that happened uh, where we couldn't get seed, uh, I've got corn that I can plant. I've got a sweet corn variety, and I've got a field corn variety where I could have cornmeal and grits and, and of course, uh, fresh corn right, off the, right out of the garden. I appreciate you hanging out with us today. Until next time, this is Brian, old Pete Montgardner. Y'all have a good day.